Hey everybody, um, this is like take number 22 due to technical issues, so apologize for the lateness of this. Um, I miss y'all. I can't wait to see y'all. It will happen. We need to be patient. We will be patient. Um, so today I want to talk to you a little bit about um, what it means to be all in and what we need to do to stay all in. Um, so let's talk about, um, what Jesus said in Mark chapter 12, when he was asked of all the commandments, which is the most important? The most important one answered Jesus is this Hear, O Israel, the Lord, our God, the Lord is one love the Lord, your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind and with all your strength. Let's take a second here and think about what that means. To me, it means if we're loving the Lord with all our heart, all our soul, all our mind, and all our strength, that's what he asks of us. But sometimes we get confused or a little distracted by the word all. Well, what does all mean? Well, it means all of all. He wants everything from us, all of our heart, even the parts that we don't want to give, all of our soul, even the parts that we don't want to give, and that applies to mind and strength. So what does all mean? Well, all means everything. All means even the things that we don't think about. You're driving down the road. And somebody cuts you off. Does that mean that we get to stop loving the Lord? No. It means that we have to keep loving the Lord. We have to give that to him. Does it mean when we're at the grocery store and somebody cuts us off in line? Are we supposed to stop loving the Lord? No. We're supposed to actually love him during that time too. And our call for that is shown in Galatians Chapter 5, verse 13 says that we're called to be free, but not to use our freedom to indulge the flesh. Rather, serve another humbly in love. The entire law is fulfilled in keeping this one command. Love your neighbor as yourself. If you bite and devour each other, watch out, or you'll be destroyed by each other. So this then becomes hard for me because if all means all and all means everything and it includes driving and it includes grocery and it includes loving each other, what's been aching my heart is what's been happening on social networking. We're under a lot of stress at the moment. I call it the two great P's, politics and the pandemic. And oftentimes, we diverge. We disagree on certain things. And the temptation is to build walls between us, especially now that social connection is primarily through places like social networking. It doesn't matter if it's Facebook or Twitter uh, or you know Instagram or even this new parlor thing that's come up. Um, we're still called to give all to God. Doesn't that include that? Now, I'm the biggest failure at this, okay? I, I don't mind debating certain things, you know, with people, but when the debate causes us to divide and build the, tre build the walls, dig the trenches, you know, then it leads to unintended circumstances. What it leads to is that people who I have prayed with, cried with, laughed with, shared good times, shared bad times, worshiped with for over 20 years because we have a different view based on what is essentially a temporal thing. You end up cutting off the connection. You cut off the connection 
that is the only one that we have on a regular basis. And it hurts me because number one, I contribute to it. You know, we all fall short and I fall short. And for those of you who I might have offended by something that I posted, I want to sit here and apologize because I took my eyes off the prize. We are the worship team. We are the media team. We come together. We ask the Holy Spirit to come and fill our hearts and fill the congregation's hearts as we lift up praises of thanksgiving and prayers to God. If all actually means all, it's not something that we get to do just on Sundays. We have to do it all the time. I've witnessed friends of mine that have disconnected in Indiana, friends of mine that have disconnected in Arizona, friends of mine that have disconnected here because we have different views about politics and the pandemic. And it breaks my heart that we can't get past that. A pastor friend of mine in Arizona told me that when we are standing with the armies of the angels, I'm not going to be standing next to Judd or Craig, you know, or Robert or anybody else. I'm going to be standing next to somebody like Attila the Hun. I'm going to be standing next to somebody like a soldier that made his living, you know, beheading people. Who am I to judge who those people are? Why do I get to judge who gets to be accepted in? Well, if all means all, why should I make that disconnect now? Just because it makes me feel better. Or just because somebody doesn't agree with my particular point of view. I'm seeing it happen and it hurts. So my challenge this week is to go through and look at the things that I've posted and the things that people have been offended by I will reach out and ask for forgiveness or I'll just delete them so that they're not there, you know, anymore. See, it comes down to a little further in Galatians 5. The acts of the flesh are obvious. Okay, immorality, impurity, debauchery, idolatry, witchcraft. Yeah, we can kind of decide that that's not something that we engage in. And then it goes on to say hatred, discord jealousy, fits of rage, dissensions and factions. And that's what I see happening. The answer is to live in the spirit because those things are living in the flesh. The fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. And that's what we need to be looking at. The last verse of Galatians 5 says, let us not become conceited, provoking and envying each other. And that's what I would encourage us to do moving forward. We have unity in the spirit. We have unity under God. And it's important to not let the things that happen that are temporal of this world conflict that. This is what's been on my heart this week, so I wanted to share it with you. Thank you for listening, and again, I can't wait to see you all again, and I pray that we all can find that unity and hang on to it. God bless you all. Talk to you later.